from the park. Frankie, say hey. Hey. So it's finally cooled down enough. It has. It was really humid earlier. Yeah, it was uh, humid and close to 90 degrees. But no, it's um, it's a lot better now. But we can do it in the park. We can do it in the park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a little windy. It is. <laughs> Hopefully we get away with that. <laughs> yeah. All right. No, let's get to this. Okay, let's do it. We're checking out a Kershaw. Mm -hmm. Earlier, I don't know, three or four months ago, we looked at four of the debut knives for 2023. Kershaw's doing what they're calling the Duralock knives. Which is the crossbar. Yeah, it's a crossbar lock knife because everybody's doing those right now. You're only cool unless you're doing the crossbar knife. Uh, yeah, that sounds... That's completely let's it. Let's go with that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> now, Kershaw's doing their take on it. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that video, but it's some good stuff. Yeah. Some good models, and they're in the budget price range. I would mm -hmm. say they're, what, 50 to $70, yeah. I want to oh, say, so. yeah. is the Blade HQ price or mm -hmm. other major retailers. Yeah. But this one was your favorite. It was my favorite. This mm -hmm. is technically the most expensive of the four models. Wow, fancy. Yeah. $65. Okay. Checking out the Iridium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So aluminum scales, D2 blade, yes. Duralock or crossbar. Mm -hmm. And this thing is sweet. Yeah, you have really liked it. It's really fun to play with, for sure. It is fun to play with. It's good. Solid construction. Nice action. Mm -hmm. The materials are good. They're solid. Everybody likes D2, except for you. Yes, exactly. And the humidity here in Indiana. It's right. not like D2. No, it's it's a nice knife. Mm -hmm. We both like it. And you and what? To be fair. I think a lot of people like this knife because they wanted to upgrade it. Kershaw? Yes. So, yeah, they did another model of the Iridium pushing this aside yes I'm pushing him aside okay and this is the new and improved option yeah so this is the iridium tie or Frankie tie talk tie no what it's titanium titanium okay. and I just ripped the box Sorry. did you okay we are doing this um, unboxing style <laughs> we've had this knife open but it's not been used I know but I just like mutilated the box well, now you gotta show everybody oh well, look Sorry. Wow. On Anyways, camera. I didn't mean to do that. No, this knife has got a little use on it. This mm -hmm. is, um, we got early access to it and have not done anything with it really. Yeah, okay. But same dimension, same construction mm -hmm. that way. Yes. Uh, except the material's a little different. Titanium. Titanium scales. And the steel is upgraded. Yeah, the blade steel itself on mm -hmm. that spear point blade is now. CPM 20 CV. 20 CV, right? Mm -hmm premium steel for a reason we've yes. talked about it a lot over the years mm -hmm. uh, just real quick why is it why is it popular for blade steels mostly it's high edge retention while still being stainless exactly yeah unlike this friend over here yeah. he's not very stainless d2 either. it's got high edge retention not so stainless mm -hmm. right no but premium materials on yes. the new tie model mm -hmm. we're gonna have to get this out of the way though okay let's do it the titanium model it's limited production. I know, that kind of blows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were able to get one, okay? Yeah. This video is going to go live on the day they, that, the sale, that the sale started. Yes, it's only three days, too. Yeah, in the middle of June 2023, mm -hmm. that's where we're at here. So, limited production. Okay. They're gonna sell out. Yes. What I'm wondering, though, okay. Yeah, go ahead. If they don't sell out, after 622 the mm -hmm. date 622 is the price going to go up i don't know because they're saying special price special deal all that kind of exactly. stuff exactly who so we'll knows see. if if you're watching this two weeks from now we don't know what happened well who knows what two years from now maybe it's a really hot seller and they make it a whole different option of it too yeah well still in general mm -hmm. you could be watching this years from now we're still just going to talk about the iridium knife exactly yeah. okay spear point blade love the blade shape mm -hmm. thumb stud deployment yeah well, we didn't tell them the price, did we? On the special edition? Yes. Go ahead. One sixty nine. Yeah. Ninety nine. Yep. For three days. So June twentieth, twenty first, and twenty second. Sixty five. Yeah. On the original aluminum model. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be worth it for the premium materials? I don't know. Depends on your fancy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what your fancy is? Wait, like, tickles your fancy. Tickles maybe, your fancy. That's maybe what you're al yeah. aluminum tickles your fancy more, or maybe titanium tickles your fancy. Well, Who knows? While you're talking about it, there's yes. going to be a weight difference, right? There is. Yeah. Let's get that out of the way. What does it make a difference for tickling? Tickle your fancy. Yeah. Okay. I know. The aluminum does weigh less. Let's see how much less. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like it. Three point three one. Okay. Okay. And if you, you can. 
notice the difference between them. What you got? 3.85. 3.85 on mm -hmm. the titanium. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Still, I mean, about what you'd expect. It's overall, it's right about eight inches long too. Yeah. Yeah. And the here. blade itself is what? 3.4 inches? That is correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just double check to see if there's any other difference here. 0.41. On the handle thickness, 0.41. That's a little on the thin side. 0 0.10. On the blade stock thickness. Mm -hmm. That's a little on the thin side. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's right about the same because I was kind of getting close there to you that. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, technically, a little touch wider. And you know what I was thinking when I looked at the two of these? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't it be fun to swap these backspacers? Somebody's going to say they want to see us do it. Yeah. It's not going to happen in this video. We're not prepared. That just sounds really inappropriate. It's not going to happen in this video? That doesn't no, sound No, no. Somebody wants to watch us do it. Oh. But it's not going to be in this video. This is going to be one of those edits. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe fine. not. We'll see. No, we're not going to swap the um, backspacers now, but yeah. it could be done. Well, and one other thing that we did notice that's a little bit different yeah. is the pocket clip. Oh, so it's let me show that. It's not the clip's different, it's how it's mounted. It's different. Okay, so that's a standard Kershaw clip mm -hmm. that you might see. It is deep carry. Yeah. The, is it T6 screws for the body and for I the clip? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So um, easily accessed there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, look at the what she's talking about on the scales. Yeah. One is recessed, mm -hmm. one is raised. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, what's your preference? If I had to choose, yeah. I would not have holes on this side at all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, lefties. But if I had to choose, I probably would prefer this just because this looks like it's unfinished to me. Like, it needs to have something covering its holes. Gotcha. You know when what the, I mean? When the clip is actually mounted in place, I prefer mm -hmm. this style yeah. because it makes it flush. In and out of the pocket, it doesn't mm -hmm. catch as much. Yeah, you can see that. It's a small, tiny detail, but yeah. I prefer, I do like that, that, uh, that Recessed. recession. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound good. I like the recession. <laughs> right. Yeah. <sighs> well, what else about it? They're good. Stonewash finish on mm -hmm. the new Thai version. Well, Aluminum scales versus titanium scales. Yeah. For me, I like the durability of a titanium more than aluminum because these they tend to scratch easily. Aluminum seems to scratch up mm -hmm. fairly easily on a lot of finishes. Well, yeah. and this is like a stonewash finish too, so it actually looks kind of worn in general. When you get it out of the box. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I always like that finish because then yeah. you can beat it up and nobody cares. Yeah. Nice looking hardware on there mm -hmm. too. Blue. I like the blue and the silver, it looks nice. And then nice. black thumb studs and backspacer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do mm -hmm. we got on this one? I don't know, Frankie. They're both nice, but can they you are. justify that cost difference? $105 difference? Yeah. As soon as that gets a little rust on it, I would say, yes, I could justify it. <laughs> yeah. But then you just remove it with some... Um, Fine, I know. I've got one of those rust eraser... Um, well, it's yeah. a rust eraser is what it is. An actual rust eraser. Yeah, thing. yeah. It okay. takes it right off. Oh, you know what I was going to teach these people out there in YouTube land? Yeah, what? This is phone book paper. Oh, geez. A lot of you guys might not have ever seen this before, but this is from a phone book. So what she's talking about, the younger generation <laughs> might have no clue what a phone book is or was because they don't really exist anymore. No. Or if they do, we're not we're not Look, aware you of had it. to look up phone numbers in a paper book yeah, to every, be able to dial them. Every city had a phone <laughs> book to its location, all the businesses and individual people's names. It's craziness. In alphabetical order. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, but the paper is still good <laughs> mm -hmm. for slice tests. Exactly. And I was going to slice some. Yeah. Okay, that is really nice. Yeah. And I'll give you guys a little bit of credit that like D2, the edge stays really sharp. It does. That one's been used. Yeah, it is nice. It really is. Yeah. So. The D2 model I've carried a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. And what do we have here? We have some other... Crossbar lock knives? Exactly, yes. Yeah. I, um, pack. We've got a ton of crossbar knives from over the years. Mm -hmm. This is just a few of them, really. <laughs> yeah. um, I put them in order of price. Mm -hmm. That's the Wii knives. What is it? Double helix? Yeah, this should probably be up here. Instead. Oh, okay. Well, I was trying to, yeah, put them in price order. Going price. That's a Benchmade 940. Yes. But that's the red. Mm -hmm. 18 of 100. Not for sale. Not for sale. Show them real quick, though. Okay. You just like to show this off every time. Yeah. 18 of 100. Look at that. It's from... 
almost, I don't know, going the on 90s, 20 years ago. I want to say. No, not the it? 90s, but early 2000s okay. anyway. Yeah. Show, um, bring it in, show everybody compared to Oh, yeah, size-wise. Yeah. yeah. It actually is right about the same length as the Osborne. Just a little shorter in mm -hmm. height. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that's a standard 940 size otherwise. Yeah. Uh, the double helix. This is like 285, isn't that's, it? Those are discontinued. Yeah. That's not even too relevant. Okay. And then the Deca. By Hogue. Yeah. Yeah. They're about 140. So a little yeah. bit smaller. But. Yeah. Um, then this is the SOG. Uh, I always called Ultra it, XR. I always called it the credit card knife. Yeah, because what it are those? is like super thin. 125 bucks. 125? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this is a popular one. Well, and I don't know if we should put this in this video right now, but this one's on sale for 95 bucks at the moment. Really good deal. It's the Kaiser Drop Bear. We yeah. have a video on mm -hmm. it. Um, one of the things that one has going for it, it's adjustable on the tension on the yeah. Barlock itself. That but, would probably be my biggest contender mm -hmm. for the Kershaw Duralock knives, yeah. but yeah. Well, in regular prices, a lot more, but it's just on sale right now, so. Yeah. It's a lot smaller though. This is the Best Tech Man Ronin. She's saying it right, Best Tech Man mm -hmm. Ronin. See? And it's 40, 52 bucks. 52, okay, yeah. yep. And what else did we get? Another killer deal. This is on Amazon. This is a SRM 9211 for 20 bucks. Yeah, 9211, the model number? Yeah. Didn't have a name? I don't think so. I think we just called them 9211. I remember, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those are, see that video. But. And then the $6 Ozark Trail. The $6 <laughs> crossbar. Yeah. We may have come up with different names for it in that mm -hmm. video, but uh, those sold out. You know what I want people to know? What? This amazing steel. <laughs> Oh, it's just uh, stainless steel. <laughs> well, try and slice that at the best you can. I am. <laughs> no, slice slowly. It's really, really dull. Find a good clean part of the paper. I can't. Like, it is really bad. This thing is so dull. Well, though. was it used though? Yes, it has been. I tried to cut up a box with this and it like demolished the box. So you destroyed the edge with a mm -hmm. box? That's true, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Stainless right. well, steel. <laughs> uh, what, what's the phrase? You get what you pay for? Kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Anyways, let's go back to these ones. Oh, we're talking about Kershaw's. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're good. Mm -hmm. The Iridium, it's my favorite model. Yeah. Do you want the titanium? It's supposed to sell out. We were lucky. And right out of the box, the fondability of these knives is so much fun. Yeah, as I It really it is. Like, well, all of the crossbars have like their own little technique yeah. that you just have to perfect too. Yeah, trade. But I, I make it look really easy on that on note. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep you around. Yeah, no, they're cool. But yeah, they are really fun. I like them a lot. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the heft of this one. She likes the heft. Mm -hmm. Depending on when you're watching, these should still be available. Yeah. These should be gone. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Well, and things about Kershaw is that if it's a popular model, they tend to keep making it in different colors and stuff like they that, too. They keep making it. Exactly. Yeah. So, if you like it, buy it. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll put links in to Kershaw. We'll put links into Blade HQ where you can get the standard model. Yeah, exactly. So, all right. Okay. It did get a little windy up. Mm -hmm. It did. All right. Now, we'll call that good. Okay. If you made it this far in the video, give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Make sure to subscribe, too. True. We're going to do a giveaway, another giveaway here soon. Ooh. We do okay. lots of them. But in order to win a giveaway, you have to be a subscriber. That is true. So, all right. A little tidbit. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, that's everything. Okay. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye. Before we forget, we're just putting stuff away. I wanted to show everybody, can you shake the blade out when it's folded? No. No. Or not easily. No. Right? Unless you pull back the, the bar itself. Right. And I can't. <laughs> you made it look all flimsy that way. <laughs> well, okay. it was a little jingle dangle. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you touch the tip? When the knife is folded, when the blade is folded. No, you can't. It's deep Inside in there. Because there. that's an issue every now and then on right? some knives. Right, yeah, okay. it is. But we're good. Yeah. Now, if you made it this far, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. Thanks for joining us. Bye.